Hello there, my name is Quentin Russell here with Doc365 and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a group in SharePoint Online. So, first of all, what is a group in SharePoint Online? Well, a group is a, uh, essentially it's a label you can um, group certain users under that brings them together and allows them to collaborate and work together on different topics. Uh, so. Now, with that simple definition out of the way, let's get started with how to actually create a group. So, first of all, click right here, go to Site Permissions, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into Advanced Permission Settings. So, once you get here under Permissions Internet, you're going to see the tab Create Group. Click on that. Um, now that you're at this stage, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a name. We're going to call this test group. Um, here in this box right here, you can add a about me, a kind of description for the group. Um, you know, what it is, what its purpose is, who gets to use it, that sort of thing. Um, after that, you can you specify who the owner is. In this case, it is the Alex Wilbur uh, Microsoft 365 account. Um, however, you can add any number of users. You can have everyone in the group be a user or only have a single user be the owner. After that, um, go into the group settings. This allows you to specify who has permission to see the list of group members and who can add and remove members. You can make it so that everyone can, um, you know, can actually see the group. And you can also make it so that either all of the group members can edit group membership or just the owner. After that, you can also do membership requests. You can make it so that people can't, um, whether or not people can send the group membership requests. Um, and you can also set it up so that these requests are automatically approved. Um, you also determine what, or what email account the membership requests are sent to. After this, um, you then determine what permissions each group has, um, like the group has on the site. So, you know, whether they can add items, whether they have full control over the site, whether they can customize it, edit to it, contribute it, read it, or if they just have a restricted view. Once you've set up your group settings the way you want, just go down here, click create. And after a quick minute, you are good to go. And that's that's all the people in the test group. It'll tell them the name, it'll give a brief description of who they are, what their title is, and their department. And then you can also see, oh, um, change it from a detail view to a list view, uh, change the settings, view group permissions, make default group, group settings, actions, yada, yada. So go into here, group settings. Say you don't want to have the group anymore. All you have to do is go here, click delete. A pop-up will come up that says, are you sure you want to delete the SharePoint group? Just click OK. And in about a minute, it will delete the group and everything is good to go. Um, that should be everything. Thank you so much. This has been Quentin with MyDoc365. I hope you all have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below in the comment section down below. Thank you.